Today I would like to demonstrate to you the RAT100 that is a uh, automatic antenna tuner for the shortwave. It covers 1.6 to 30 megahertz and it is fully automatic. It's easy to interface. It can handle a 150 watt carrier. So you can see this particular one is in very nice condition. It is uh, obviously as uh, a military uh, one. It's olive drab. It is a uh, fully uh, metal case uh, 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 unit. This here is a Teflon insulator. Nice thing is that you actually have the uh, ground terminal right next to the antenna terminal. Uh, the tuner is designed for asymmetrical antennas, like whips. That is what I have myself here, 24 foot whip outside. Uh, but you could also use it uh, with symmetrical antennas. For that you would need a ballon like this. Uh, that basically converts your asymmetrical tuner to a symmetrical antenna if you use a dipole or stuff like that. Um, this is the uh, other side. Here we have the ID plate. Try to zoom in on that. RAT100 ruggedized automatic antenna tuner. It is, uh, like I said, it's from uh, Transworld. Did I say that? Which is now a uh, division of Daytron. And they are based in California. This is how you interface with it. There is a uh, 50 ohm input, obviously. It is an end connector. So I have an end to BNC there. This is not a cheap. Uh, uh, SO239 it uses an end connector so you might need a uh, a professional uh, plug for that this is the uh, interface plug interfacing is very simple it runs off uh, ground 12 volts and then there is key line in and key line out uh, key line in is uh, a signal you just pull this to ground it's a digital signal you pull it to ground with a, with a simple uh, push button switch and it will start the tune cycle once there is RF. So first you uh, you give it RF, low, low power RF, you don't want to put in high power. Uh, you tune in low power, then you pull this key line to ground and it will initiate the tuning until it's done. It takes about a second, mostly less than that. And here is key line out. That basically uh, allows you to use a transceiver that has an input for a low power carrier, like a uh, an ICOM uh, 706 can do that, for instance, if I'm not mistaken, but there are others as well. So if your transceiver has a special input for generating a 20 watt carrier, then you would connect the output to that, and then when you activate the key line, uh, everything will go automatically. Otherwise, you just put your radio in AM, that's what I'll show you later, amplitude modulation carrier, and uh, in low power, and then you just push the mic, that works just as good. All right. Connector is a hard to find one, but it comes with the unit, so that's good. Here we have our cable, and this is actually the end of the cable. As you can see, this goes to my power supply, 12 volts. This is the uh, the button that I just uh, have added to that. Once I push the button, the key line is pulled to ground, and the uh, tuning cycle will uh, initiate. All right, enough talk. Let's uh, let's get it going, and. Uh, and take it from there. Let's uh, have a look at the inside of the tuner, the antenna tuner. I took out the screws, can take off the lid. And this is what we have on the inside. There is a, a CPU. A microprocessor part in its own compartment. This enclosed section is the uh, analog part where the uh, uh, forward and reverse detectors are located, power sensors, amplifiers. Uh, here you see the uh, actual tuner itself. There is another board underneath that is not very visible. It contains a lot of relays. This is some of the inductors, the smaller inductors, are also underneath this assembly. 
the hole is basically uh, water water tight, water airtight, water tight. There is a uh, rubber seal in the lid that will close this uh, hermetically once you uh, put down the screws, tighten down the screws. So you could actually mount it outside, but uh, you can also leave it inside if you want to keep it nice. As a transceiver I'm going to use my C235 uh, marine radio. Let's turn it on. Now this marine radio has a little secret that not a lot of people know. It actually has a ham mode. So it's going through its self-test now. It's a DSP based radio. Uh, it defaults to the military, uh, sorry, the marine uh, um, uh, emergency channel. 2182 uh, kilohertz is the emergency channel. Uh, if I type 73 function, it goes to amateur mode. That is an undocumented feature. And I can then go to any handband and any frequency. I can either tune that or I can just punch it in. Let's go to uh, 80 meters. 3850. As you can see, we are, it automatically goes to lower sideband and it can be tuned up to 10 Hertz accuracy. I can tune in 10 Hertz steps, I can tune in 100 Hertz steps, I can tune in 1 kilohertz steps, I can tune in 10 kilohertz steps and so on. Now obviously we need carrier so what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna put the radio in amplitude modulation carrier then the other thing the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the power the radio has three power levels 150 watts 100 watt and I think this is 20 or 50 is pretty low so now we're at low power amplitude modulation amplitude modulation equivalent if you want and we're hooked up, the tuner is, uh, is powered up and what we got to do is give a carrier and then press the um, tune initiate button that I showed you earlier. So let's do that. Now what I forgot to tell you is we obviously need to see if the tuner is doing its job. For that we have this uh, SWR meter. Uh, meter is not very sensitive at the lower frequencies at the higher frequencies it works just fine. So for the lower frequencies what I will do is I tune at low power. I think low power is actually 5 or 10 watts on this radio. So I'll do that with low power and then I'll switch to a higher power so you can actually see that the uh, VSWR is good. So uh, let's uh, start a tune cycle. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're tuned. I don't know if you heard it, the uh, relays come in. We are now at uh, a tune situation. Let's uh, increase the power so I can show you the uh, high power enter. There we go. We are tuned and we're now at high power as a transceiver. The tuner, by the way, can handle the 150 watts carrier. So. Uh, that works quite well. So that was the 80 meter band. As you see, tunes quite well. Um, I can try 160 if you want. Of course it's going to be even more insensitive, but it shows you that we can go very low with this tuner. And we uh, will try that out. So that would be 16... Well, it's actually a bit lower. It's actually a broadcast station there. We need to go back to low power. It's not a good idea to tune at high power. All right, we're at low. There we go. Took a bit longer. Well, we can't even see it on a meter. But uh, I will go to high power. That will make it better visible. Oops. 
think that has a chance. I mean, uh, We're at high now. <laughs> and you can see meter again is uh, this is the best sensitivity I get. Well, I guess I could go to single sideband. That works a lot better. 150 watts single sideband, and as you can see, the SWR is uh, 121. Good job from the uh, RIT 100. Let's try the uh, 60 meter band. That would be uh, 5403, if I'm not mistaken, the highest channel. There we are. Let's uh, let's see what we get. And it does that too. 5403, uh, 60 meters. Well, let's try a uh, higher band now. Twenty-one. This is the fifteen-meter band. All right. Obviously, I have to lower the sensitivity of the instrument. Let's see what we get. We are low power again, and in the carrier AMA. I did not do that right. Okay, I don't know if you saw that. This is the 15 meter band. And we are at uh, 1 to 1.3. It's a good result. Tuned at 15 meters. Let's try uh, 28. Okay, there we go again. Well, we're not tuned now, obviously. And now we're tuned. You should see, the higher the frequency, the faster it tunes, because there is less re fewer relays to activate. That was 10 meters. Uh, some of you might want to see this, so why don't we try that too? We are at 27. It does that too. And with your 5 watt radio, you should be able to tune this. Because I have, like I said, a carrier output on this radio at low power is about 5 watts. So that works just fine. Let's try one of the work bands. Uh, one. Uh, what is it? What is the work band? Uh, I think this is it. Yeah. All right. Fork bent. And it does that too. As you can see, the RAT 100 military antenna tuner, very easy to interface works of 12 volt, you just pull down the key line with the button and, uh, and you're good to go. Comes with the connector. You see the few, actually there is ground, there is plus, there is key out and key in. So in other words, when you activate the key line, the output can be used for transceivers to generate a low carrier level. It's actually explained in the manual which is included. Manual also has all the schematic diagrams and everything, not that you need it because it works like a champ. But uh, as you can see, it's a, uh, a nice device. Very rugged. And this particular one is in like new condition. Thank you for watching this video.